Alright guys, today I'm going to make a spear. And uh, this is a primitive spear, so this isn't going to have a metal point or anything. This is just going to be a primitive spear you can make out in the woods. All you need for this is a campfire and a knife. So what I have here is just a straight, hard stick about six feet long. And we're going to turn this into our spear. Alright, the first step is just to take roughly the first six inches of bark off the top of your spear. And this is just so we can get down to the actual wood so that we can harden this and turn it into an actual tip for your spear. Alright, so just shave it off with your knife and I'll show you the next step. Alright, the next step is just to Harden the wood over the fire. Blacken it over the fire. And what this does is, it just forces all the fibers in the wood to contract, and therefore making the, the, the point of this harder. And that's what we want. We want a hard point, because this is a spear. Get it right in the flames there. I'm not sure if you can see this, but uh, the wood is darker now. We've hardened it in the fire. It's quite hot. It's quite warm. And uh, all we're going to do now is we're just going to take another layer off it. So we're just going to scrape off the blackened bits and then reheat it in our fire. Alright, we've taken off our first layer of... Uh, of hardened wood and now we're just reheating it doing exactly the same thing all over again all right guys there we go finished our spear now hardened it a good few times shaved it off until it's not it's not very it's not that pointy you see I just leave it like that so it doesn't break off so you know this is a good jabbing jabbing spear six feet long it can be used as a walking stick as well and uh, as you can see I sharpened the other end as well and now I can use that as a digging stick so we have multiple purposes for for this piece of kit it can also be used as a tent pole if you want to hold something up there's a lot of a lot of uh, good possibilities from this as well. If you take a bit of time, you want to engrave it or add like ranger beads or something, you have a lot, a lot of possibilities with this. Alright, thank you guys. That's how to make a primitive spear.